So here we are at SAC Anime. This is day one. This is the first con I've been to in almost two years. Got some cool Star Wars cosplayers over there. I'm just gonna walk around and walk through the convention. Yes, Funko Pops. That was a good play. Though. More Funko Pops over there. So this aisle right here is kind of the separator. Everything on that side is Artist Alley, and that's all the vendors. So you can see how big the hall is. It's a pretty big building. But I kind of walk through. The artist alley and the vendor section real quick just walking back and forth. You'll find somebody selling a booster box for 140. I guess in the same box somewhere for 200. So for the vendors, you definitely gotta look around for stuff to find a good deal. See, they got all types of Pokemon stuff for the year. Samurai sword. Captain oh, yeah. America. I like the hairdo, bro. Super Bowl ring. Also, I think it's like five or six o'clock right now. That's when um, the hall closes at seven, this area that I'm in, but there's still other stuff to do. After that, oh, yeah, 
Tails and stuff over there. All cops of masks too. Definitely be on the tents in the NorCal area, Sacramento area. Try and come to Sac Anime. This is my first time here and it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Also, as you can see, everybody has masks on. Masks are required and they did a good job of um, getting everybody to wear them. Here they have these Funko Pops. I have the Funko Pops of the character here so you can get them signed. So you can get it signed by Jody Benson. She's the voice of Little Mermaid. All these anime characters, voice actors are here. So you can buy the Funko and then get it signed by the voice actor. So go with it. I know I'm not going to every booth. It's just a quick walkthrough just to give you guys a feeling of what it's like. That's Dwayne Connor. I guess he's the Blue Ranger. We got the Power Rangers over here. All your lewd hentai stuff over here. All your weapons. Some of these are prop weapons and some are real metal blades. You gotta be 18 or older to buy them. So they got nunchucks over there too. Like all types of weapons at this booth right there. We got some cosplayers taking pictures. More swords over there. No lightsabers already. That's around. There's one booth selling um, force effect lightsabers, but there's no lightsaber specific booth. And none of the weapon booths have them. You need your movie posters right here. You got your cocky Japanese candy over here. You get your waifu pillows over there. If you want to sleep with your anime waifu, that's where you go. Enough about that. Some more figures, stuffed animals, kind of cool backpacks over here. 
We got Mion here. Thor's hammer. Those are kind of cool right there. It's a fictional IB badge, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Dr. Evil. To go along with your cosplay. You get to a Margin Boo stuffed animal. And I believe from the left side on it, it's kind of, they call it the indie zone. I think it's like comic creators and stuff creating their own their own IPs, not just fan art. Yeah, so that section on, down here to the left side and down there, that's all the indie creators with their own comic books and original IPs. And this is more vendors on this side. Pokemon cards, any type of Pokemon card. They also got Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! And I believe Digimon. We got some fictional guns over here. We got some extra long USB cords. These are like eight foot long USB cords. Joker right there. a couple booths like vacant I don't know why you would pay for a booth and then not show up maybe they had an emergency but I know some people pay for a booth and they don't come on the first day which to me is a waste of money because there's a lot of people here and you should get your full day's work instead of blocking it from somebody else that will use the free all three days
Rocky Rohan, Adam Salt. We got all types of D20. Right here. Oh, Anime oh, world over there with some more swords. I've been hanging out with you guys, huh? All types of Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh, Vanguard cards. They got the music playing over here with the t-shirts and the art prints up there. Some more Pokemon cards right there. These are classic Pokemon cards right there. Some base set stuff selling for insane prices. We have a, a rave over at the Senpai Squad. Some Marvel heroes over there <laughs> dancing. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember Mark's son? Oh, okay. What's up? That's me. <laughs> What's yeah. up, sir? I haven't seen you so long, dude. Yeah. How long you out here? Now we will continue. I just had a cool conversation with one of my friends that I've seen in a long time. But I got the Saber FX, or Force FX, at least. Well, I was thinking Saber Force, not Saber Force. Force Select, Force FX, Lightsaber. I saw that earlier they had a Dark Saber. I think somebody bought it. done with this um, convention tour of SAC Anime Summer 2021. Yeah, it's on Monday because Monday is Labor Day, remember? We got the husband old pillows right there. the whole area. Some of these booths have packed up early. This one back there, that's the hentai booth over there. 18 and over. They are checking IDs, so if you want to see some anime TVs, that's where you go. No, no, no. 
And this is going to be the last row of sack anime. We got some fancy D20s over here. There we have it. That's the whole the whole walkthrough of SAC Anime 2021. I skipped a little bit of rows, but if you're down here, you should come check it out. So I want to say once again, thanks for watching. That is the Nerds Next Door at SAC Anime Summer 2021. Full cool walkthrough. Want to give a big shout out to my Patreons: S. Keith Gant, Ken Seto, and Gina Gina Gold. Do you think I'm kidding? Thanks for watching and peace out.